Howdy folks, welcome to the CompTIA A Plus course and welcome to the Burning Ice Tech channel. First of all, if you're wondering why this video is so short, it is because this is just for course introduction video, explaining what the course is about and what the objectives are, that kinds of stuff. The full official course will start from the next video in this playlist. Alrighty, so let's start with a little bit about myself first, the trainer. For those of you that are new to the channel, I am a certified IT trainer and I have been one for a very long time. I train many courses from many vendors, not just CompTIA. And in case you're wondering, yes, I myself am A plus certified. I have written and passed all the A plus exams since the early 2000s, and I've probably got a thousand or more students that have done the same. When it comes to IT training, I have more than 10 years of IT training experience. It's actually probably more than 15 by now, come to think of it. I also have lots and lots of in the field experience, which I tend to use in my training to explain certain topics. And, you know, when it comes to giving demonstrations and all that, it just makes things so much easier when you've got experience in the field. So that's a bit about me, folks. Now on to the actual course overview and objectives. This video course of the full complete A+, will be based on the CompTIA A+, 1100 series. Now, for those of you that don't know what that means, about roughly every three and a half years, CompTIA releases a new version of each of their courses, including A+. The new 1100 series was released in April 2022 and is currently the latest version of A+, when this video was made. It's expected that A+, 1100 series will only retire around, I don't know, end of 2025, beginning of 2026, somewhere around that ballpark, that's when it would be more or less three and a half years old. When this 1100 series of A+, eventually retires, a new version of A+, will be released by CompTIA, but if you don't find any content for that course at that time, this video course will still be enough to be able to pass those new exams. So this course will still cover about at the very least 80 to 90 percent of the new version of A+. So every time there's a new version out you can actually go and use the old content from the previous version and the old content was normally about still 80 to 90 percent the same. So they're not going to go and completely make a whole brand new course. They're just go and add a few things that's new, remove a few things that's now old which they consider legacy, but you can still go and use the old videos or the old manuals and the same will apply with this one. Now, speaking of the A plus 1100 series, the official course consists of 20 modules, unlike the previous 1000 series, which only consisted of 18 modules. Now, don't panic, folks. That doesn't mean it's more work. CompTIA simply went and spread the content out over more modules. It's not really more content. It's just, well, spread out over more modules now. CompTIA also went and reshuffled some of the content, mind you. Some of the stuff that used to be in the old Core 1 is now in the new Core 2. And the same goes for Core 2. Some of the stuff that used to be in the old Core 2 is now in the Core 1, vice versa. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I mean, at the end of the day, as long as you cover all the content, you should still be good to go when it comes to the exam, and you should still be good to go when it comes to going into the actual field. As long as you cover it all, you should be good. Now, as for this new version of A+, I will cover all 20 modules of the course for you folks. Each module will have a full dedicated video. So that means some of these videos will be quite long, guys. They will probably on average be about an hour long, you know, based on the past, you know, if I went and made these videos. You can actually find previous A+, videos on my channel, by the way. It normally takes about on average an hour per module. Some modules might be shorter than now in an hour. Some of them might be longer than an hour. It really depends on the actual topics that's being covered in that module, but on average, it'll be about an hour long per video. Um, core one in this course consists of nine modules. That would be the first nine modules out of the 20. Core two in this course consists of 11 modules. That would be the remaining 11 modules. So in other words, from module 10 all the way to module 20 will be core two, folks. Once again, folks, this full video course will be enough to pass both the A plus exams. So if your intention is to go and write the exams, yeah, you should be good to go after this course. 
This video course is also intended for people who would just like to, I don't know, brush up on certain topics. The course can also be used to troubleshoot a technical problem you might be facing. Now that being mentioned, I will be adding a list of topics covered with timestamps in each video's description. So if you go watch one module and you've got no idea of what's going to be covered in that module, you know, at the end of the day, you only have the title to go and look at. No, that is not the case. You can actually go and open the video description. I will have a very long detailed list showing you what topics are covered in that module with timestamps. So if you want to brush up on a specific topic, if you want to go and troubleshoot a specific topic, or maybe you're studying for the exam and you want to go and rewatch a specific topic, whatever your personal situation might be, the timestamps are there to make your life easier and so you can find topics quicker. Trust me, it takes me forever to go and put them in there. So by all means, go and use them. Well, folks, that's a bit about me and this course. If you'd like to watch the full course, the first module, in other words, the first video of this course, will be the next video in this playlist. You can find that on the channel. Um, if this playlist is not done yet by the time you want to watch it, you can actually go and watch the previous version of A+, which is already done on my channel. Um, otherwise, I would say just like and subscribe, and that will be one way for you not to miss the next videos. So yeah, just give a like, give a subscribe, then you won't miss any of the videos coming out. Alternatively, just go watch the old previous version of A+, that's already actually done on the channel. Alright folks, see you on Module 1 of the A+, course.